So here we are. Welcome to our page on uh, yatradio.com. I'm Bob Walker, and this is a video uh, yat chat. Mm -hmm. And tonight we're going to have our, our first one as a split screen interview. And, um, well, our, our guest tonight is none other than my old radio buddy. Yep, the old huckster himself, Sergeant T. Ben Boudreaux. And he's going to be here in uh, just a second or two here. Uh, in the meantime, let me say, Linda Lutman Mele is here. And uh, Kathy Tamburo Tortorich, she's back. Cindy Lamont, all right. And Stephanie Cara, all right. Here he is. Just make out in your mind that you're hearing the Mission Impossible theme. And here he is, Sergeant T. Ben Boudreaux. There he is. Good to see you, T. Ben. Thank you, King Bob. My goodness, it's been three three years times 10, 30 years since we started doing our shtick. And it's good to see you again. After tonight, we'll probably see you another 30 years, but uh, <laughs> good. Yes, indeed. So welcome here. We started out together at Oldies 106.7 in uh, 1989. On I remember January. they made me... They made me stop saying part seven at one time. I had to say point seven. You remember that? Yep. I remember that. Yep. But we said it anyway, and we still say it to this day. Um, Sydney Lamont's here. Stephanie Cara, Terrence Gerald, uh, Terry Walsh. That's a familiar Ooh. name. Yeah. She's a hot one. Yeah, she is. Joseph Rosselli, Debbie Palmazano, Debbie Lacoste, Patricia English. My goodness, we got a load tonight. Jerry Nugent and Keith Colvion over there on uh, on uh, West Bank. You used to live on the West Bank over at, uh, what was the name of that, that place? I lived in Algiers and then Gretna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I just, just from what you've just read, we already have a bigger audience than the Democratic National Convention. <laughs> so this is great. You something, T, you something. No, at uh, what I was thinking of that, that that big complex you looked. Oh, you Park looked, Fontaine. Yeah. Park, Park Fontaine, Fontaine. That was it. With uh, didn't you have uh, Robert Fontel as part of the uh, the Murphy Gang or something? Who were those guys that you Murphy used to Murphy and always... the Hancock Gang. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're still friends after all these years. He was a fan, and he showed up at a remote, <laughs> and uh, we hit it off. And here it is, thirty plus years later, and we're still tight. <laughs> You're cheap. <laughs> it doesn't take much to to bring it, bring your uh, your friendship over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. So, um, what we got here? Well, you're broadcasting from the uh, the old city ice house where Morgus used to work, but now he's he's retired, and you're living up there and doing your broadcast from there on. WTIXFM every morning. What times do you do your uh, your uh, your comedy bits? Well, let's just say it airs at 6:40 a.m. and then 8:10 a.m. and then 9:40 a.m. Mm -hmm. Good, Monday good. Monday through Friday. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, we got a lot of people that listen to you here. Uh, Cheryl Andrews Falgu, she's from uh, New Orleans. She grew up in Carrollton, and she's over in Houston. And she's hoping that one of those hurricanes don't come her way. And we hope so, too. Sandra Thornton is here. Well, Wayne King Bob, Herman. I'd rather it, I'd rather this storm hit Houston than here. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I mean, when Katrina hit Houston, afterwards it was obvious that, you know, with all the thugs and all the criminals who went to Houston, it would have been better had Katrina actually hit Houston. <laughs> they, they would have been better off. But, you know, you can't uh, control these things. You can only say your prayers, and that's that. Yep, that's that. Mike Jennings is Bob, here. I'm hoping that a hurricane, because this Marco turned out to be a real flop, right? Uh, and Marco, I mean, I think we're through with Marco, and yeah. then we have Laura coming mm -hmm. in. I, we just need one more hurricane before the expiration date on my Vienna sausage. <laughs> He's serious, folks. Believe me. <laughs> it's well, probably but, in the closet next to all your booty from the uh, remotes. <laughs> yeah, uh, you got to watch how you use that word these days. But oh, yeah. uh, I bought twice as much Vienna sausage for two hurricanes, and here I am stuck with a surfeit, you know. So, well, it, it's the Lord's will. Oh, yes, it is. Mike Jennings is here, Frank Dunawar, and 
Ray Fisher, Tony, he was with us on WTIX, the Mighty 690. He's up in Mississippi now. Stephen Jobert is here. Judy Walker, oh yeah, Judy's walking. Yeah. Uh, she takes her walk this time of the day and her name changes to Judy's walking. And uh, Bayou Bell is here too. She's over in Lafayette. So you guys uh, get your umbrellas out, looks like for tomorrow. We're gonna jump over a snake apparently. But anyway, uh, so, uh, T-Ban, what's going on with your good friend Jay Leno these days? We don't hear much from him. Well, funny you should bring him up, King Bob, because Jay Leno is one of a handful of celebrities who has come to the defense of Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. You know, she's, yeah, she's been under fire lately, but mm -hmm. Jay Leno's standing behind her. You know, Jay met Ellen when she was first starting out as a stand-up, uh -huh. and he took her under his chin. <laughs> long way to go for that yeah 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 you still got it though but uh anyway i hope you didn't mind when i was introducing you that i i referred you as uh uh the old huckster Remember? Uh, you know no that's okay I, I, huckster is a person who sells uh everything yeah I, <laughs> I, yeah I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a huckster I'm a, actually you know king bob i endorse uh, many products on the air, including Tony Mandina's Red Gravy, mm -hmm. which is excellent. You don't have to be a huckster to push that, and the Happy Italian Pizzeria, yeah, and uh, and so on. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm a huckster, but I'm a sincere huckster. Speaking about the uh, the Happy Italian, how's uh, what's uh, what's the name of the chef over there? He's a good cook, Chef man. Lenny. Yeah, Chef Lenny. He's got some good food over there. And that's He's right a by uh, what's that church? Saint uh, Saint Rita, Saint Matthew. Saint Rita. Saint yeah, Saint Rita. Rita. Yeah, it's just about across the street from it. So anybody who wants some good Italian food, man, go over there to the Happy Italian. You'll make that, that Italian Lenny happy. I know that. You, you tell him T-Ben sent you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And T-Ben will get his next meal for free. So be sure to mention T-Ben. <laughs> All right. So um, we got to throw in a few uh, a few milestones in our careers here as we uh and we only worked together for about four years, but uh, it seems like a lot of people still seem to remember us on Oldies 106.7. So uh, we'll bring back some of our memories here, like the time that uh, we got booked to go to the uh, the fair over at De La Salle. I don't remember what occasion the fair was, but uh, it was a regular fair in the schoolyard and everything. And we were supposed to get on the stage and do some stuff. And... Uh, uh, Lindy Boggs was there with us. Now, she was in Congress at the time. And uh, uh, the the guy who booked us brought us over to, to Lindy Boggs and introduced us. And you said, Lindy Boggs, uh, oh, yeah, I think I've heard of you. <laughs> she's still with <laughs> us. Huh? No, no, no. no. She's, she's gone. But uh, God yeah, when you said that, I just said, uh, oh, God, he's telling Lindy Boggs that. So... <laughs> Right, right. So, uh, we had a cast of characters. How's uh, how's old Stumpy Boy doing these days? Oh, Stumpy Boy, the one-eyed, one-eared, boneless, toothless traffic wonder dog. Well, you know, uh, said you would bring that up, King Bob, because uh, that stupid boy was uh, chasing after the garbage truck uh -oh. just the other day. And, yeah, and for some, I mean, it was an act of God, but the truck backed <laughs> right over him, flat as a pancake. You know, I'm trying to fluff him up again he's still breathing you know but uh <laughs> he's still living huh he, he's seen better days <laughs> well why don't you uh tell him to go get you something stop it boy yeah. stop it boy go fetch your big daddy uh keeping help on uh liver cheese with mashed bananas and a large glass of clam juice <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh of course we we had the fat lady you remember the fat lady no oh, i'll never forget that fat lady yeah the show wasn't over until the fat lady sang and boy right. she was sing, and that would mean it was time for us to get off of duty and go downstairs to the bar in the uh the lobby of the building where oldies 106.7 studio was <laughs> were you there when that barmaid threatened to kill me and she threw a bottle at me uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For no reason, man. No reason at all. <laughs> well, she apparently wasn't a fan. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> so I, I see you have your uh, your trademark on here, the uh, 
coonskin cap. Yeah, you remember yeah. when the uh, PETA people uh, started to give you a hard time because they thought you killed a, a cocoon to make that hat? Well, I didn't kill it myself, but, you know, they had a point. But uh, I didn't uh, remember that until you uh, told me backstage. But I used to get a, I used to get a lot of hate mail from <laughs> animal rights people and, and then just uh, malcontents and, and weirdos. And a lot of fan mail, too, back when mail was the thing. <laughs> T-Ben... Uh... In case people don't know it, he uh, one of his favorite targets was uh, Dorothy May Taylor, and she got so PO'd at this, she started recording T. Ben and me every time he gave a report, just waiting for him to uh, to mention her name and uh, put her in some movie or something. And uh, uh, how'd that ever turn out? I heard she wanted to sue us, but I'll, I'll tell you that that would not have flown these days. <laughs> No. There was some very politically incorrect and uh, inappropriate yeah. humor there. But I don't uh, regret it. We had, we had laughs, man. We, yeah, we, we did. And we had uh, our regular gangs uh, that we'd uh, give tribute to when we... Uh, I don't know when you had tra uh, time to do traffic, really. We had so much bull crap going on. Uh, I don't I don't really know. We gave out uh, cheers to people and adult movies and, and jokes and, and everything. And and people would tell me, you know, his his traffic reports sound kind of all alike. I would sometimes I would record them three hours ahead of time and then go to a, a, an appearance at a car dealer. So, you know, anybody who wanted any useful information was out of luck. <laughs> well, uh, just in case we have any of them listening tonight and watching, you remember the uh, the Avondale gang that we used to give a big cheer to at 3.30 or 3.40 when they would get off of work yeah, in Avondale I do. I do. And, and we'd say, all right, uh, let's 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 hear it for the Avondale gang. Yeah! yeah. Yes, indeed. And uh, the geese from the east, go, go ahead, do a geese from the east thing like you used to do it. My fine feathered friends, my flea bitten flock, I am your hero. I am the wind beneath your wings. <laughs> people used to eat that up. I mean, they didn't, people had uh, poor taste in those days. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still run into people and say, hey, well, I'm one of the geese from the East, you know? Yeah. 30 years later, man. Oh, let's see who else we got in here. <laughs> Watching the reunion, Oni Balala Buras. She has joined along with Cindy Reed uh, McRae and uh, Billy Charles over in Hoover, Alabama. And uh, Mike McCall, he's in here too and uh, enjoying all the stories and the good times we had. And uh, of course, you know, we have to remember when we did those remotes and the same grungy people would come <laughs> every week for the free pizza and free drinks, but you found a way to uh, to salvage the situation. You just kind of uh, put the pizza and the drinks away <laughs> where they couldn't find them anymore. Right, in my trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what At happened. Time, we ran out, you know. <laughs> At one time, I think you told me you had cases of drinks up to your ceiling. <laughs> I did, true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i remember one time we were at uh, ray brandt uh, his, his dealership over there by the harvey canal and i was running late and uh he had this one parking space that said ray brandt's parking space and <laughs> oh god <laughs> i parked in it and here comes ray brandt and he was a little ticked off but i left it there we didn't hear that he was mad about it but uh, till later <laughs> but Harvey's anyway. top trader, the West Bank's big dealer, Ray Brandt Nissan. You know, we <laughs> lost Ray Brandt not long ago, too. Yeah, I know. He uh, just a yeah, few months rest ago. Rest in peace, Ray Brandt. Yeah, He's he uh, a great man. He loved us, man. He loved to listen, and uh, he got us over there for for remotes all the time. So we had a good, good many good times over at Ray Brandt. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see, the food and the drinks, we got that, the Ray Brand parking space. And, you know, our, we're just uh, going to do a few, a few memories here. 
And uh, even after we we no longer work together, I feel like we're both on uh, This Is Your Life. You know, I'm Ralph Edwards and T-Ben Bourgeois. This right. is your life. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, in uh, later years, we both got into the movies as extras, and we did a lot of movies together, tons of them together. Uh, and uh, the, the funniest one we did together was LBJ that was uh, that was uh, produced by that foul mouth idiot uh, what's his name Rob Meathead uh, yeah Meathead <laughs> he was the one oh what a vulgar guy man he was cursing and cursing and oh my lord but anyway uh, we had to do two shots that day and uh, we were religing, re, uh, reliving John Kennedy's uh, wake uh, laid in, uh, you know, out for viewing or whatever. The coffin wasn't open, but that was at uh, at the uh, the gym over there by the Alario Center, I believe it was. Right. Yeah. And and then after that, once we finished that scene, we had to go across the river over to uh, to where. Where do we have to go? I forget. But anyway, that was our we two locations from, uh, that day. Yeah, we went to the West Bank. We went it, from the Colonial Country Club that's it. to the West Bank. Yeah, okay, that was the scenario we did. So uh, I was just dressed on uh, with street clothes. You know, I was just a commoner. But you, they cast you as an archbishop. So yeah. what do you have on is this red cassock and this big old pointed red hat on your head right and right. uh we're driving along between locations here and we're on the Huey long bridge and uh there's beer open in the car and you got your archbishop outfit on and we're saying holy crap if the cops catch us like this how are we gonna exp explain that uh we got an archbishop here with us <laughs> did right. we kidnap him or what and then we get across the bridge and we need a, a beer so you were driving your old uh you had an old beat up pickup truck at the time one of those uh, little japanese models and we pulled into a gas station and king bob goes in and i'm sitting in the passenger seat dressed as the archbishop and uh <laughs> and they, we're getting they, some looks too <laughs> people say they had 40 ounce beers in a for truck two, <laughs> right, I, I was blessing people walking by. You know, I, I felt like I had a, a religious calling. You know, I was really into my role. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we had those big forty ounce. I think they were Miller High Lifes or something, two bucks a piece or, or something. Yeah, that was. Uh, I wasn't meant for the clergy. <laughs> oh, but anyway, those days came and went. Uh, the movies got to be a little old when uh, when the days got longer. You remember? Uh, were you with us with LBJ when we were doing it at the uh, at the studio? It was on Jefferson Highway, no Airline Highway, right over the bridge by you know a little past the airport. Um, you may not have been there, but anyway, we started like at four o'clock in the morning there, and Meathead he couldn't he couldn't get things straight on what he wanted to do, and he'd do something and then do something else, and it would take him hours and hours to get in things in order and all of a sudden it was almost midnight and we just started uh, walking out and the producer he started to say what's the matter y'all can't take it and we said yep that's it Bubba sign the release and we're going home I mean enough was enough those those movies yeah, well, are had long Rob Reiner who will preach to anyone who will listen about income inequality is making you know what twenty thousand dollars a day and we're making basically minimum wage I, I found that to be uh, incongruent you know <laughs> if, if anybody who you know wants to judge these Hollywood people go to a movie set and see how the union people and the actors and the directors treat the extras mm -hmm. go see that it's a, it's a good lesson okay so where are we going with this King Bob that's about it what you got well, uh, if Terry Walsh is still watching, I'm, uh, I wasn't expecting this to go this long, and I'm, I'm getting a little low here, so yeah, if, uh, and, she's uh, watching. A couple more acknowledgments. We got Laura Gandalfo over, uh, she's in California. She's watching us as we speak here, and uh, Lucian Tax has joined. He's my, my brother-in-law, so give, uh, give him a toast. I think he likes uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon as well. 
Well, uh, here's to you. <laughs> All right, and uh, well, T-Ben, we've been friends for longer than 30 years, and I want you to know if I can ever help you, all you need to do is ask. Well, King Bob, thank you. And let me just say that if you ever need anything at all, please do not hesitate to call someone else. <laughs> T-Ben, you something. Thanks yeah, for dropping right, by King today, Bob. man. Let's do this again sometime. This was our first video that we did on split screen, and it's been fun. And... Um, well, let's do this again sometime. You want to say hello to my wife? No, oh, she's, yeah, go ahead. Uh, she's hiding. Where's, where's Terry? Where's Terry? She's hiding. She, she's not presentable right now, uh, in her opinion. Oops. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, dropping by. Thank and, you. Uh, okay. And have a good night and stay, stay okay out of the hurricanes and everything. It's been really fun getting back together with you again. See you 30 years from now. All right, King Bob. All right, If buddy. not sooner. All right. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.